Bad start. So how is everyone? Hope we're all having a great day. Welcome back to the brand new solo series for the week and uh, yeah, we've got off to a nice little start right there. We're gonna just go and recycle these bits and pieces I think and move on. I did know there was some animals around there so I'm gonna go grab those as well. I need some food as you can see. We'll get some cloth, some animal fat, all that sort of good stuff and then we'll head on out. Really nice way to start though. I like that a lot. Tools as well. We're gonna need some cloth though, big time. Got enough for a workbench as well, scrap wise, which is glorious. This is obviously a completely fresh server, so I have absolutely no blueprints whatsoever, so it's just a big case of grinding this week, which is fine. I'm, fi I'm fine with that. Hitting barrels, getting scrap, rad runs. I really would love it. I, I don't know if this server has it, uh, but I'd love to check out the new oil rig. You guys have been telling me about it, it looks sick. I mean, it moves a little bit closer down to airfield, I think. Just because it's a really nice rad town to get in and get loot from, so. It's quite a trek, though. I'm gonna need a campfire actually first before we do anything else. Let's move on. Oh, now that. Oh. Oh, baby, that could be a nice base. I'm really close to there, though. Oh, it won't let me build here. Oh, that is just such a rip. Such a nice place. Oh, joke. I think living here next to airfield's gonna be really, really good. Oh, that's not too bad either. Right, amazing start. Semi-secured right now. All we need to do is build a base. We're gonna need wood, that's what we don't have. Oh my god. This doesn't happen. I just got a jackhammer and a chainsaw, two consecutive red boxes. That is actually insane. That's the first time that sort of thing has ever happened to me. Right, we do not have a lot of room on us, boys. I'm gonna have to chuck that three high core. Oh, I can stack it, what am I doing? Okay, let's get some stone. We're gonna need to get some wood and then we're good. Semi-secure then. We need to go and grab more wood though. And more stone and more metal and just everything. Right in there. Right, I'm just gonna get a little bit of stuff on board just so we can basically secure the base, I suppose. Um, and then I'll be back with you. Just a little bit of boring farming, you guys know the drill by now. Thank you. Fuck's that? Chinooki? We are having an absolutely insane start, and I am loving it. Tell you what though, this jackhammer has been amazing, and I found a metal pick in a cave, so that's our first blueprint to learn. Okay, break dawn, I'm just gonna make my way up this road, grab all of these barrels. Is that a s- oh, it's one of the new, uh, new modelled scientists, bravo game. Right, yeah, so I'm gonna just grab all I can up here while it's morning, and then uh, recycle it all, and then move on. Biggest thing is finding tarp though, that's gonna be the, uh, the biggest thing. So we really need cloth. Ooh, sword big. Fuck. F 
Fucking Christ. Where is he? You can't do that to me, game. They're a bit buggy then. Love it. Ooh, big. Not half bad at all. Revolver. Like, obviously, the uh, the Avengers Endgame is uh, satchel charge bean cans and stuff, but can't say no, right? Just been fucking crossed in the face. Oh god, where the fuck is he? I have no idea. In that bush. Oh, my cross C, my fucking two revolvers I'd found. Oh, I don't have the cloth to make another bow either. Oh, that is so frustrating, dudes. I just could not see him whatsoever in that bush. I should have just dipped. Oh, that's so irritating, man. I've been farming barrels for like 20 minutes. Rip. He won't be able to carry it all, I suppose. That's the only solace I can take. Whether I can get close enough to the airfield, though, without getting rads. Ah! I got really complacent. It was stupid of me. I don't normally do that. Alright, no biggie. We'll move on. Just had a little epiphany in my head. Why the fuck was I rolling around with that water pipe in my in my hotbar, in my inventory? Why was it not tucked away in my base? I've gotten into that mindset where I think I've got blueprints and I don't, and it's it's not a good place to be in. So I'm gonna try and get literally like four trash piles here and go and try and recycle them then. How? How? How did you know where I, I how I was uh, just creeping in there? Because that was cool. Yeah, something like that for now. That'll be fine. Doesn't need to be anything major. I, I'm hoping that. No one's gonna come and raid my two by fucking two, but you never really know in Rust, do you? Okay, so I've been offline for a couple of hours, I've been out, I've done some stuff, IRL, so I'm heading back on now because obviously the base is cool, we're all good on that. Now I need to try and rebuild my stocks after dying a couple of times to that guy, hopefully. Hopefully now, having taken a break for a couple of hours, he isn't still kicking around here. But that being said, with players in Rust these days, these guys know life it for hours, man. So maybe he still will be. When I get my loot back up again, like some gear, maybe I find a rad suit or something, I'd love to come a little further afield around here and grab all of the nodes up on here. Obviously in Rust, a lot can change over the course of like a couple of hours, just in terms of the general landscape. New neighbours, new bases people pillaging all of your resources and loot and stuff, so I'm trying to do a bit of a recce right now, just try and work out what has moved into my area, who's around now, and whether it's worth me pushing it a little bit further afield to get some loot. I can already see a base just there on the road, so yeah, tricky. Four arrows for a pig these days is just one too many arrows. Oh, you had a little bandage, did you? Ooh, okay. Poor ladder got killed by a little pig. Sorry, my friend. I need all these nodes, man. Literally just spending all of my time right now just trying to grab all of these barrels and stuff that I can, and then if we encounter anybody, we encounter them. If we go and do a little recycle run, hopefully, that would be the dream. If we can get some cloth and some bits and pieces from it, that would just be the best, because I think I've got like a hundred cloth right now, it's just not enough.
ข้าวBags of stuff like earlier, but uh, 70 scrubs, not bad. We got a dude. He's dead. You fucking move, Urva. Oh my god, he's pretty. Mm, it's crappy loot. Stacked with crappy loot, but I'll take it all day long. I think for sure what I want to do is. Uh, uh, you might have noticed that this episode is wild grindy. Um, for a first ep uh, as all first episodes in a solo series, let alone a series at all in Rust these days, are grindy, but, um, the big thing for me is I want to bring you longer episodes again. More packed, so you can see the whole sort of experience from me. I don't want to cherry pick the best stuff, you want to see the good stuff, you want to see the bad stuff, that's what I want to see as somebody who watches Rust videos myself, so if you guys are happy with that, please let me know down below. If you just want to see the best shit, then let me know as well, but I think this is definitely, from asking you previously a while ago, this is definitely the majority of people prefer to see a little bit more, a bit of a chill, but at the same time, the grind, the whole aspect of the experience, because a lot of you guys don't play Rust, so it's nice for those people to get a, a proper feel of the game. And obviously now the base is looking, well from earlier it was alright, but now people are rooming a little bit more gear and stuff. We're probably going to need to do a little bit more of an expansion on this puppy, which is fine. I just need to go and sit and farm. I can't go out any more from the front though, that's annoying. Um, I just need to farm and shit. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's depot and head back out. I'm just, I don't know what I'm trying to do. Build up stocks of loot, kill guys, try and get scrap. See ya lad. Oh he's heavily geared. Oh he's seeing me now. Oh fuck off, can Oh no. Got him. Come back for the rest. If needs be. I just want out. Whew. Let's go. Big boy plays for a sword. See the things like that, like a little come up like that. Oh, it changes the mood so much. Changes everything. I thought he I thought he had me. Those pumpkins coming in clutch. Little battle pumps, that's what we'll call them. Battle pumpkins. going night time. Let's head home, do a little bit of researching I think, maybe some base renovations, I don't think so, I haven't got the wood for it, but do some researching, learn some stuff, maybe some crafting. Then come the morning, we can kick on. P.S. if you couldn't tell by my new uh, my new name, just being and seen Shazam, I really enjoyed it. Have you guys seen it yet? What were your thoughts and opinions? I liked it, I thought it was a little kiddie, because um, obviously the DC universe has swung the other way compared to the uh, sort of older stuff. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. I enjoyed it. Okay, first things first. What I'm going to do is here's the plan I'm going to shoot you with. I'm going to build an extension onto my base for a little vending machine shop. And I'm going to sell metal pickaxes because I don't know when blueprints on the server wiped. However, I'm hoping that it was like today with white today um, and if that is the case then I can sell the pickaxes people might buy them for scrap and stuff I'll probably sell them for like 50 scrap um, make them cheap and hope that people will come and buy them I guess unless I'm gonna get the sword so that I can then go and you know, like do sword raids and stuff pretty damn nice if I don't say so myself all right that leaves still 130 scrap love it I'm spitballing just really eyeballing the neutrino bombs on this one Morty
Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Um, I've placed the... Uh, got everything down now, which is nice. Need to do a little bit more renovate another base. Just make it secure and stuff, but I need to farm a sugar ton of stone for that, so... I'll do that in a bit, maybe after the video, but yeah, so... Got a couple more swords on craft, I've got them all ready to go. Probably a daft move, but fuck it. What I want to grab is 10 cloth for a small stash so I can dump them if I need to. Oh, sugar. I think I just found where those shots came from. This motherfucker right here. Now I have to go home. Fuck. This guy's taking off in his fucking minicopter. He just crashed it. He's died. I know there's still so much there. I know. I know, I should probably just dip the small stash with some loot in it, but I need this. Oh my god, that's so big. Oh god. 521 scrap. Have you ever seen anything like that in your whole life? Oh my god, go, 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 the come up. Oh my god, boys, that's it. That's the day. Double barrel, we did it to him. Oh my god, it's all still here. I'm out. I'm out with all the fucking loot. Let's go. Oh my god, oh my god. What a day. He's chasing me right now. I can see him over there, look. You can see him. He was chasing these dipped back. I think that went really fucking well, don't you? Let's go stock some furnaces. Well, with this 600 bloody scrap, let's learn a revolver then, shall we? Why not? The most insane, crazy thing to happen to me for a very freaking long time. Right, stop that in there. I might learn the double barrel as well, to be fair. I don't have many pipes though, so... Little drop box action. Let's do a little bit more base. Fair enough. Very nice indeed. We're gonna need to get a little bit of stone though. Let's grab the jackhammer and just go and get that. I'll do that in a minute, actually. Righty ho then, fellas. Last thing to do. Let us calibrate this vending machine. There we go. So I'm selling a pickaxe for 50 scrap. Make it cheap. Pickaxe for a bean can grenade and a pickaxe for a metal hatchet for now. And we're called Shazam's Wonder Emporium. Beautiful. Right, dudes, that is me for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a frickin'... You know what? This has been some of the most fun I've had in Rust for a while. I know we died a few times, but I just love the opportunity to show you guys a little bit more of the stuff. And I've, I've proper thrown myself into it. I've done a lot of playtime today, so I've enjoyed it. I don't think anybody will raid through the ceiling, do you? Oh, I might, yeah. What I'm going to do is grab a few nodes and then just put a, le a, low, a set of low walls on top, I think. Just, just to be safe. I think I've got enough stone, look, for 72 hours in the TC, but not enough for the topping bit. So... Go grab those. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy today's video and if you are hyped for this series because, let me tell you, I am buzzing. I cannot wait to get involved this time. Going to be pushing on next episode. I want to get some raids done. That would be perfect. I obviously need to grind a little bit more. We can get that tier 2 bench up if we want. Um, obviously, we don't have any tier 2 blueprints or anything worthwhile like that, but at least we'd have it set and secure. But it's just getting the base safe and uh, making ourselves sure that we're going to survive the wipe, really. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Check out some of the other videos on the channel channel if you're new around here and I hope you enjoyed your stay. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I'll see you in a couple of days time for the next episode of this series. I've been Tills. Peace out. Got so tired.